There we go. We're on. Yay. So the third eye. That's one we're on right now. Exciting. My favorite. Okay. So your third eye chakra, it's just located right in between your brows, right in the middle of your brow bone. And of course this one is like it's a darker blue. Sometimes it can come from the color white, uh, just depending on um, what, you know, what the per which which line the person is culturally from. So sometimes it'll show up white, sometimes it'll show up blue. Okay, we have, uh, this is the Anja. So Anja, E-N-J-A. And we have Om um as well. So the same as the crown, Om. Um. Uh, so this is your sixth chakra. And uh, the element, of course, again, is spirit. And uh, we have the center for intuition and awareness of course so psychic intuition uh, consciousness um, being able to see through things uh, for what they really are like in authenticity um, we have your awareness self-realization transcendence imagination dreams clarity and connection so all from the third eye Okay, let's jump into signs if this chakra may be blocked. Well, the third eye obviously is, I don't know, for me when I do Reiki for people, I focus mostly on the throat down. I do check the third eye and the crown, um, but those, those two will develop on their own in their own progress, okay, as long as they're not blocked. Um, but basically what you're gonna notice if there is a blockage, excuse me, mentally, the mental signs are, we have negativity, so negativity about what people are seeing, um, over, hype, you know, hypercritical, like critical, you know, criticizing people a lot, um, can't concentrate, no imagination, you know, unknown fears, uh, uh, like tensity, just being really tense all the time, um, trust issues, very cynical, harsh phobias, uh, and possibly detached, like disassociated, you know, from uh, circumstances or situations a person may disassociate with it. <clears throat> we have also living in fear of the future. So that's a good one. Uh, you know, physically clumsy, forgetful, uh, second guessing yourself, you know, self-doubt, uh, making poor decisions. Um, sometimes a person can be very impulsive in their decision making, so that can be, the impulsiveness can be a sign of, you know, issues in the third eye. Questioning your existence and uh, anxiety. <clears throat> All right, so for unblocking, um, I guess I should start by talking about how, like, which areas of the body it affects. So it does affect your endocrine and nervous system, the pineal gland and pituitary. So of course you can get headaches, um, confusion, cloudiness, distraction, low attention span, those sorts of things. <clears throat> All right, so for unblocking. Uh, well, the best thing you can do is rest and rejuvenation for your third eye. Uh, sometimes it just it's just it just needs a reset. So taking a really nice long nap, um, even just kind of going within and focusing on looking within yourself, spending some time doing some journaling and self reflection, <clears throat> standing with your legs straight, and then you bend over in front trying to touch your toes, okay? Swinging your body left and right without bending your legs, uh, it physically shakes the third eye back into equilibrium. So standing straight, bending over, trying to touch your toes without bending your legs, you just wanna kinda swing your body like that. So that is known to be one of the techniques to put the third eye back into equilibrium. Sometimes we'll, our chakra will be kind of off to the side a little bit. 
So that just brings it back into alignment. <clears throat> um, yeah, make sure you stand up slowly to prevent dizziness. Don't want to hurt yourself getting dizzy. And take a few deep breaths um, and repeat if necessary. So you can do these exercises a couple times. Um, massaging the middle of the big toe. Okay, so this would be reflexology, but it's mainly not the very tip of the toe, but sort of right in the middle of the toe knuckle, the big toe knuckle. You want to put some pressure in there uh, on both on both toes. And your sound frequency therapies are 144 hertz, 288 hertz, and 576 hertz. Uh, we have your crystals for lapis lazuli, sodalite, and clear quartz, um, which I didn't bring in with me. <laughs> I forgot them. Um, but lapis lazuli is amazing. I love just placing it there and laying back and just setting it, um, allowing it to just give me some therapy for a few moments. And you'll notice a huge shift in your energy when you do this. You will feel it. Um, let's see here, essential oils, frankincense and basil. Uh, what to eat, your diet for your third eye. Uh, dark blue fruits, blueberries, blackberries, raspberries, wine, grape juice, and this is really neat, poppy seeds. Can you believe that? Poppy seeds are good for your third eye. Uh, and then a question you may ask yourself or somebody else who may be you might suspect they're having some issues with their third eye. <clears throat> Are you able to easily understand mental concepts and come up with creative ideas or solutions? Can you manifest ideas into reality? So those are some good questions to ask. And I think we've pretty much covered it.